welcome for another starter episode. My name is Stefan Eriksson, and today we're going to look at the command cd, otherwise known as current directory. So first of all, what is current directory? Current directory is simply just the directory starter is currently working from, saving to, loading from. That is the active folder from which it's searching for the data that you'll be using, where it will save your data by default, or simply just other things you have created and where to store them. So how does this command actually work? Well, the command is simply just called cd. So if you would type it down in the command line, press enter, it would actually give you back the current directory from which it starts us looking. And of course, without setting anything else, the default folder is in documents. So indeed, we can just see if I wouldn't do anything else, then all the things I would save, all the things I would load would be in this folder here, or we'll be looking at this folder. Unless, of course, I specify the entire path every time I load, every time I save, and so forth. However, that can become quite, well, annoying and very, yeah, very annoying when you're shifting your do files, for instance, between colleagues or not, then it's easier to change the current directory on top. Instead of having to change every single file location, then each colleague or each friend or each whoever person who is using your do file can simply just have the folder with the same name, but a different path on their computer. That would be very smart, no? So let's show how that actually works. If I have a do file here, just like this one, I can, of course, I always do clear. That's just my way of doing it, but okay, you can do what you want to, but I like to put clear in the beginning. And of course, we can set in CD here. And then of course, we have to specify, well, what is our current directory that we actually want? And there's actually know of two ways that you can actually set your current directory. And then of course, you can copy it into your do file for later use. But common for both of them is they both have to go between these quotation marks because this is actually treated as a string or you have to write in your path. So. The first way you can do it is more the manual way. Let's show that first. So if you will go to a folder from which you want to put your videos, in my case, for instance, you can simply go here and copy the address. With a right click, copy address. Minimize again. And now I can simply go in, add that to my do file. So now I put in my address here. You'll see a user Stefan videos and my starter videos. I can run my do file and you did see it sets this to my current directory can always double check just by asking what is the current directory? Well, that is indeed where my starter videos are. Okay, no problem there. By setting it to the current directory now, if I am to load a data set, I can simply just use the sysuse command or use command, provided the file is found in that folder, of course. And if I want to save something, I wouldn't have to specify the entire path. I can just write save followed by the name. Added other options if you want other options, of course, but I don't have to specify the entire path every time which is, well, that can be pretty cumbersome at, you know, at times. So if I would minimize this again, now show the second way we can do it. Because suppose you are not sure how to copy the address or you're sitting on a different operating system, then of course you can also just go to file and change working directory. Here we'll open a little menu here. So browse for folder and you can simply just, you know, use the pathfinder to find your folder. So now I want to find back to the folder I had before. And of course, in my case here, I will look for instance libraries down at videos and see I have my starter videos here. Double click on that and OK. And you see it comes back here with exactly the same path as before. And then I can just copy this output and then put it back into my do file just like I had before. A final thing I would like to show you which is, could be interesting is suppose you are in a folder. So indeed I cd and I saw I'm in this folder and you quickly want to check what is in this folder without having to actually go in and open it. You can just call d I R, and I'll show exactly what is in this directory. That is the simplest way to do it. So, okay, this is um, this is all I have for you today. I hope you like this uh, video, and I hope you find it interesting to use this CD command here. I definitely like using it, so I hope you can also find this useful. And with that said, I wish you all a great day, and until next time. <laughs>